I don't yeah. know if you remember about three weeks ago. Was it just not leaned back enough? That, that, I, yeah, I mean, you weren't quite hipped out, right? So, guys, when I'm in here like this, like I get up under here, all I'm going to do is, see how my hand is here like this? Mm -hmm. All I'm going to do is this. Okay? Okay. So, I'm, I'm here like this. All I'm going to do is one, two, three. Okay? Yes. This right here, if your weight is on your foot, you will never get your weight off this leg. That was my problem. You have to sit on him. So get your weight off the foot. Right? That's why your knee has to go this way and your foot has to go that way. So now, I can do like this all day long. I can sit and whenever I feel like falling, I fall. Fall. <laughs> I pointed the knee. I try, try not to take, try not to like, like jump over like a saddle like this because he's going to grab your foot in the air. So take the point of your knee. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to just basically grind your knee all the way across until it, nope. Foot back. Okay, I want you to just grind all the way across. You're going to end up way up here. Okay. All right, until your knee touches and then you can bring your foot across. Okay. All right. You don't. So I get up in here, get the side down. I got the, the chin pressure. I walk this up. Tip of the knee goes up, I continue walking, I take this high side mount, grab that elbow, pull up, and I immediately come to here, all right? Once I'm in here, I'm taking this gi, and I'm going to pass it to this hand, all right? So we've already covered that. But notice that this arm, the whole time that I'm sitting in here, okay, I drug him up this way. Now I come under the head, and I pass my hand. My arm still controls this arm the entire time. So let's say I'm going here like this, and he takes this arm, and he starts pulling on his gi. Okay? So I still, I never, ever lose the arm bar. It's always there. Yeah. So if he defends the choke, I got the arm bar. If he defends the arm bar, I got the choke. And this is what I'm talking about. You're setting yourself up so that you have options. Okay? So what, no matter what you do, you're going to end up in, in the position that you want. I don't really care. Try not to get target fixated on, I want the arm bar, or I want this choke, or I, you know, I don't really care. I just want whatever it is that's available. So, yeah. Right. So, I'm going to take the easiest thing that gets me the win. Alright? I'm all about lazy grappling. Alright. So, go ahead. So, you lock in there, and let, you know, you go ahead and lock in your arms however you want to lock in. Alright, so he comes in here like this. From here, all I have to do is, even though I can't get behind the head, I can grab on top here and still be able to apply the choke. Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because because when I grab this wrist, remember that the choke is really being applied by one hand. Mm -hmm. Alright? The reason for the other hand is to help force his head into the choke. Alright, I'm not doing a rape choke like, uh, you know, just, mm -hmm. just hand strength, okay? I'm getting in here and I'm focusing on the arteries. That's why I'm saying I move this hand out of the way. That's why I'm saying that when I'm in this position, if you look at my hand, my wrist, this part of my wrist here is in that artery. Okay? So I'm here, I grab, the fabric is in this part of the artery. So even if I just did this one hand, I got the choke. So if I come in here like this, then what happens is I help push that head into the choke. So if he grabs a hold of his hand, he grabs a hold of the gi, so he's defending the choke, he's up above the choke here. And then he, he threads his arms, however he wants to thread. So from here, I just grab that wrist. I can't tap my hands. Yeah, you, can't, you can't tap because it ties the hand into the choke. It's, 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 it's not a neck break. You're filling it here and here. Huh? So I get in here. I pass this lapel. Right, so he grabs the lapel and let's say he like tries to interlock his arms together. Okay, see how this arm is on top? Mm -hmm. This one here? Mm -hmm. It has no effect on the arm bar. I can arm bar right now and he can't do anything. And if I go back, it will come off. Now, if he reverses it and he puts this through here, he'll be able to defend that arm bar better, but not the choke. Right. So you're only going to be able to get one or the other. But I don't I don't really care. So if he's here, put this back under. So this one's on top. Let's say I come in here, I have the arm bar, 
If it's the other way, I have the choke. I even have options here where I come in and now I just take the wrist. So I mean, you have tons of different options here. But the point is, is that you you have set it all up to where I never have to abandon one to get to the other. So I sit here, I go for the choke, he defends the choke. I come in here, I go for the wrist. He starts to defend the wrist, you know, he makes a fist and he pushes out on his wrist. Now I go for the arm. So I can just start stringing moves together, one right after another. And even when I get back to this point and I'm going for the arm and he tries to sit up on me, boom, I come back to the wrist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 just, I can just start stringing stuff together. 